All right, so um, right here, I just quickly want to talk about this. I got a request from um, someone who are, if I'm correct, who are. So he asked me to do a tutorial where I explain how I did this. If you remember, I had a tutorial similar to this, exactly this tutorial about the time lapse. So he asked me to explain. So that is what this video is all about. So I'm just explaining what I did in the other tutorial. So it, I'm going to also put link in the description, but you don't really need that. So if you just see this explanation, you would understand what I did there. So this is giving you explanation. So by the way, before I get into the tutorial, you could just, I would really appreciate if you help me by hitting the like button and sharing this video. And it will make, mean a lot to me. And also you can also hit the subscribe button and also the notification so that anytime I upload new tutorials, you can just get notified with this so let's just get into it and know how i did this all right so to get right to this i already have my model and then for you to do that what you would do is make use of your paint tool so you have to have your object selected so once you have the object selected you go to your tool then once you go to your tool you're going to see paint tool so as soon as you click on paint tool it's going to show you this all right then once you start painting, you start seeing that the other method is going through the select. So if you go to the select, you have your vertex paint. So what the vertex paint does is going to allow you to set, sorry, go to select rather, you will see set vertex map. And that is only visible when you are in any of these points or sub-object mode. So right now it is grayed out. That's why you can't see that. So anyone you choose, but for this paint, I don't really have to paint this. I can just start painting on that. But if I go to any of this mode and I click on select, it starts seeing set vertex width. So this is where you can set this, but I don't really usually like using this. I've been using this in a long time, but I noticed this is um, more handy and helpful. So, so what I would do before would just set zero and it's going to paint it red meaning no vertex weight on any of this all right but i'm going to delete this immediately you do that it's going to add this tag here so i'm going to delete this tag and do the other method so even i can be in this mode and just go to my tool paint so as soon as i do that and i start painting automatically it sees everything as black as red meaning no paint so whatever i'm doing now is painting this over to this so so that's the first thing you need to know the second thing is the brush the brush size you can start changing the brush size by coming to this radius so if you come to radius you increase you notice the radius if you reduce you see that yeah then you also have your um hardness so the hardness is how hard you want the brush to be so if i come here and i paint see this as to when you have a hardness of four see the difference if i make the hardness 100 percent you see the difference between this and that you see the fall off and this so i'm going to undo that so instead of you coming here and clicking and doing this you don't really have to do that there is a faster way to doing this if you want to increase the brush size you just press down your middle mouse and drag to the left or right so if i drag to the right it increases the brush size. You can also see the update here. So if I drag to the left, it reduces. So that's for the brush size. But if you click on your middle mouse and drag up and down, it changes the opacity. So the opacity in this case overrides the, your hardness. So the opacity is more like um, the fall off and the softness of your paint. So if you have this opacity on your paint, you see that you have few of these so if i bring the opacity up start seeing that paint all right so that is what the opacity is used for and then so since you have um you already know the difference between the size brush size just middle mouse and drag to the left or right and the opacity drag up or down then you can start painting so you want to be in your absolute mode so let's do the air side. We want to be in the absolute mode then. If I hit NB, it's going to show me the wireframe so I can see where I'm painting at, all right? So I'm going to reduce the brush size. 
and start painting where I want. So I want to have this somewhere here. So I'm, I just quickly want to do a rough sketch of how I want the head to go. So you have this. So this should come here and then paint downwards and go over to that side and do similar thing here. Yeah? Okay, so I'm still trying to look for how to make this symmetrical, but with this method, you can only have, you'll have to do that. So I don't really know if you, if anybody has an alternative how to paint using symmetrical paint, and then I would really love to have that. So you can just paint all this out. So once you have this guy painted, then that's how you get this section. And mind you, you also look at the opacity that you're going to be having here. That will determine the length of your air. So when you are using your vertex painting and all that, notice you should also note the opacity because that will determine the length of the hair that you're going to be having when you are grooming the hair. So once you paint all this and you have this section, so possibly maybe here you do this. Okay. Um, this should come down a little bit somewhere here. So once you're fine and you want to, so let's look at the jaw side. I want to do the um, birds. So for the birds, I'll have to reduce the opacity because birds, I don't want them to be too much. So bringing the opacity down, if it doesn't change that, you can always come to the hardness and reduce the hardness. So this should start painting this here. So if you come to this and make this up, you can start seeing this. I'm seeing this paint here with the opacity. So we could just bring this down until we are fine with what we have it. So maybe I want this to come here. So you could use that to do this and this side right here. So maybe this should cover up somewhere here and come up somewhere here. Okay, so we have this and paint. So the more you paint over this, the more it gets um, thickened and you have more detail to show for that. So you just have to work with the opacity, with the hardness to get whatever effect you're looking for. So if you feel like you've painted over somewhere you don't really like, you can always come here and subtract, subtract that part from it. So you can use it to groom your air to give you whatever you want. If I go back to absolute, I can paint over this section to give me what I want. All right, so you have this and maybe here, maybe I want to have a full bed so I can just reduce this a little bit again and just paint down here so that I have some air coming down is um, jaw and chicken that so more like unkept um, bed somewhat so once you're fine with that and that should be the basis of the whole thing so you can just start bringing this over to your air so the last thing I'm going to do is if you notice this place look rough so I can now come here go to smooth and smoothen this section all right so that is what you can do to smoothen that section so you can even stylize your hair so maybe you don't want to have you want to have a kind of um, hair grooming whereby this place is um, how do I put it you have um, this side is um, still brushed down so you could still come here change it to absolute and reduce this and paint over this so maybe the absolute is going to be this and just paint over until you have this here 
so you can just start grooming this until you are fine so maybe this is here up to this place and reduce this a little bit and paint over and you can also reduce this brush until it goes down so once you're fine with this you can now use your brush and smooth brush to smoothen everything so you get to have a seamless transition between that part till it fades away all right so once you're done with this painting the next thing is for you to put it over put your air tag so if i hit n a to go back to shaded mode so this is the effect i have so we can start putting this so i can still paint this smoothing this place right here because i'm seeing hard um, hardness here so we can just paint so that we have a smooth effect so i'm just doing a rough and very fast sketch here so once you're okay with this that's all that's just pretty much everything you need okay so we have a problem here we're going to be having a growing there so if we go back to the paint tool my last brush we could subtract these parts from it okay i think you're fine i think i'm seeing stuff okay so but when we add the air we'll see so you select your object you go to your um character if i'm no, not character i'm thinking simulate yeah you go to your simulate you go to your hair then you put in your hair over here so you could actually use for two but if you go to hair the hair will be added so we're going to change this from that link i think we should just use for for speed purpose so if you select this and you go to four and that will be added here so we want to bring this vertex over to this section so it's going, only going to add that there so if you reduce the length so let's say this length is going to be two okay so we have that so density also we're going to bring this over to the density section so that is what will affect that so we can start increasing this so if you make this even more so you have this so mind you you should also watch the value so you don't run into a problem you can see that my screen is beginning to slow down so you have that all right so um so if we bring this to one and uh, maybe let's try 0.5 we should have this grow here okay so let's quickly try a test trend and see what we have so you can actually also add variation to this maybe we'll add a version of 0.3 so vary this the sum will be a lot so if you come over here you could just work with the thickness here so let's bring the thickness down the root to be 0 0.1 and this maybe 0 0.05 let's use 0 0.05 for both and let's see what we're going to have So let's render that okay so i'm trying to see what we are going to have here okay so you see what we have what we have here you can notice the effects so if you had more air you see the whole thing come up right there 
So that's pretty much everything I did. I just worked with the vertex map and added that vertex map to the density and this object. So that works. If you get rid of this in the density, you have more hair than you would once you put it in the density. See the difference? The density kind of get rid of some air. See this place? You have that. So, and the good thing with this vertex map is that you can always go back and start trimming this. So you can decide to come here. Maybe you want to get rid of this part. So you go to subtract and paint off this. Notice as I'm painting off this, the air is also going off. So that is the good thing with this method. So you can just start grooming this and cut, cutting off the parts you don't want. If you feel that the air is overshooting some parts, you can just come here and get rid of this. So if you feel maybe you don't want this effect, you can just shave this off more like a barber. So you have this effect shown here. All right, so I feel, um, I hope this explains what you want. So um, I just felt you should understand how this was done and what each of those tools mean, what they do. So you can always go back and smoothen this again for you to have the effects you are looking for. All right, so I'm, I'm going to stop this here. So that's how to use your vertex map with your air tag or four to groom your hair. So if you feel this was helpful and if I've answered your question, please do give me uh, a thumbs up and like this video and also if you are new to my channel please do subscribe because i do tutorials like this every time and if you also have um, a request you could just put in the description so i can try my best to see what i can do with the request so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye